Hey guys, what's going on? Alex here with Apple App Store 101 and today I have a really exciting video. It's March 11th, 2011 and it's about 7.30 in the morning. Um, I'm going to be doing a quick app review of GarageBand, but um, as you know, the iPad 2 is released today. I'm going to be going out purchasing one. I'm going to be doing a lot of videos. I'm planning on doing about nine videos today. This is the first one. It's a review of GarageBand. You know, I still have the first generation iPad. Um, and as you know, I won't be able to get the second generation iPad until around 5 o'clock tonight. Um, but anyway, I'm going to be uh, doing iPad 2 versus the iPhone 4 speed test, uh, speed test versus the iPad 2 and the original iPad, the GarageBand um, video that I'm going to be doing now, the uh, app review of iMovie, the um, uh, review of a smart cover, FaceTime demo, and photo booth demo. So I got some really exciting stuff today. So if you're um, a new viewer, make sure to subscribe to my channel uh, to be notified when I post another iPad video. So anyway, let's scroll over and open up GarageBand. Uh, GarageBand, as you know, is a great music software um, for the for the Mac, and it's now been ported over to the iPad. Anyway, um, as you know, uh, they have these really cool smart instruments. They have smart bass, smart keyboard, smart guitar. They also have a regular keyboard that you can actually play drums. Uh, you can you can plug in your guitar and use it as an amp, which is really cool. You can re you can record your voice if you're a singer. Um, they also have a sampler. Uh, but anyway, let's go into the drums. I'm a drummer myself. Um, anyway, here it is. It looks like a real drum set, which is really cool. And if you'd like, you can change the style of the drum kit. You can use a classic uh, drum kit. You can use a vintage kit, live rock kit, and they all sound a, a little bit different. Um, and anyway, you can just bang on the drums. Uh, you know what? Let me turn up my volume on my iPad. Okay, so you can just bang on the drums however you like, and and what's really cool about it is that you can actually type tap lightly and tap hard, and the iPad can actually detect how hard you actually touch the uh, drum, which is really cool. So um, let's just try to do a little beat here. Let's try that again. Really cool. So that's how the drums work. We can go back to the instruments view by just clicking instruments up in the top left. We can scroll through again. Let's uh, choose a smart instrument here. Let's play a smart guitar. Um, a smart guitar is really simple. You can just sort of select the chords. They all go really nicely together. So um, you can also do some autoplay. You can choose between acoustic guitar, classic clean guitar, hard rock guitar, roots rock guitar, uh, which is also really cool. And um, I forgot to mention, if, you would, uh, if you'd like to record your uh, music, you can just uh, select the record button up in the top center of the screen. So anyway, let's uh, just record this for um, the sake of it. And we can just strum along. And to stop the recording, we just select stop. And when we're uh, you know ready to sort of edit the music, we can go to this view over here by selecting the button up in the top uh, left. And you know we can just scroll through and position a playhead at really any position. And once we're ready to play it, we can just select play. And as you can see, the metronome's playing in the background, which is really cool. And uh, you know we can stop it. To control the, the things, we can just select this tool button here. If I don't want the metronome on, I, if I don't want the count in, we can turn those on and off. Um, we can tap this at the tempo. There's really endless options inside the GarageBand app. Um, so this is really about it for the GarageBand app to add new um, you know, instruments. We can just do that and we can have keyboard. The keyboard's really cool. I mean, it's pretty realistic. I don't play keyboard, but you know, it's really pretty interesting. and. Um, you know, it's it's definitely really cool. So we can go back to my songs, and it automatically saves your mix, and you can export it. Um, you know, let's see where we can export it. Actually, you can send the song to iTunes or email the song, and you continue. You can actually continue. Um, working on the song on your Mac on the full version of GarageBand. So that's been a review of GarageBand for iPad, a new application in the App Store for $4.99. There's really no flaws with it at the moment. Um, totally recommend it. Even if you're not a musician, there's definitely um, the smart instruments which you can use to um, you know, make your mix. So that's really about it, and I'll see you guys later.